Hey, YouTube. Well, I see that there's news on this morning. And this news is taking place on the very day of the premiere of the new Pose season. So, yes, I'm a suspicious person, particularly with anything Hollywood, anything show business. That's entertainment. I think I don't think it's a coincidence when a person when the show is premiering tonight, and now suddenly I guess is a page article is showing us that Janet Mock has gone off at the premiere uh, party. My thinking is, what are we talking about this morning? So what is the story today? Well, there's no video of it. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Pose. When does Pose premiere? Tonight. So, I don't know exactly what happened there. Perhaps she was angry. She wanted to get some things off of her chest. Perhaps she was drunk. Perhaps she had just get, got caught cheating on her boyfriend. She said she was about to break up with him that very day. So now she wants to call the boy out at this premiere show. But he's also a part of the show. You see, everything is in, everything is about to premiere, I believe. Right? They have publicity. What are they? Publicity agents. These people come up with stunts. They have Billy Porter show up at premieres in ball gowns. And it's all about the show because per Billy Porter's not a drag queen, but they're constantly putting him in these elaborate outfits. And why? Because it brings attention to the show. Everything's about the show. So, no, I don't believe that Janet Mock, on the night of the premiere at the premiere party, went up on the stage to sabotage her own career. I don't believe it. I'll just tell you like that, honey. Hi, hey, people. Good morning. <clears throat> How are you guys? Hi, Lady Key and Primo Anda. Thank you, Primo Anda, for Super Chat. I got that. Teresa Hopkins. Dolly. Uh -huh. Thank you, all you guys. Thanks for coming in. But I'm always suspicious of these show business type people, right? Because this happened last Thursday, and yet we get the story on the day of the premiere. It's, I don't think it's a coincidence, people. I think these publicity people, they are hired to do a job. If they didn't do anything, why would you be paying them, right? So Janet Mock goes up there at their premiere party. I get, I imagine it could be possible that they would have collected all the cell phones or instructed people not to, not to record. But even if they give them instruction not to record, with a group like that, somebody's going to record on their cell phone. I mean, everybody has video on the cell phone, right? Unless they actually collected them. There's no video of this, but apparently Janet Mock got up there and did 15 minute rant or speech about the industry, about her cheating. Why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? That's just making news, honey. They're not even married. That's her boyfriend. Right? So she, she was, uh, I'm calling bullshit on this. Sorry, ladies. I don't believe it. <clears throat> I don't believe anything that happens in the premiere week, period. Y'all seen the story? There is no video of it, right? So there are a few people talking about this thing with Janet Mock. She says she's only making $40,000 per episode. This this seems like something that uh, I'm sure Monique appreciated this. But we, we, we may think, well, 40000 an episode, you make how many episodes? You got nine episodes. Well, it's still a piece of change, but compared to what other people are making for producing and writing and so forth, then she may have a legitimate complaint there. She will hardly be the first one. But I believe that since this guy, Ryan Murphy, has been in so many things. I mean, he's had, I think I watched three series on there, uh, on, on the Netflix produced by him. That one about Hollywood, and there was another one about... Uh, where the guy was crazy in, in insane asylum, Ratchet. That was another series. He's done much, much, much television, right? So a lot of things have spun off, at least for him. I don't know why she would go up there to criticize. And her, her criticism of him wasn't very extreme, right? 
Primarily, she was she was complaining about how much money she made. And um, let me see. Some people there said she seemed emotionally unhinged. Okay, and she went into this thing about cheating on her boyfriend kind of thing. Why would you bring that up? So she may have just been drunk. She may have been put up to this. Just like I said, you know, when when, when uh, Billy Porter was showing up at all these red carpets in, in ball gowns, male, uh, gender, gender queer ball gowns and so forth, were part tuxedo, part dress and all that. All that was about the show. It was all about promotion for Pose, right? So this is the last season of Pose. Why would you go up there to sabotage your career? Well, you don't even, it wasn't even necessary. This was a private party. It wasn't even necessary. But somehow or other, page six has gotten the story and they have held the story because it happened last Thursday. It happened Thursday. They've held the story till today. Today is this is what we're talking about. Is Janet Mock going on? Right. She even had the poor boy stand up. Stand up. Look at him. I was cheating. I was gonna leave you. I love you. I don't want to be in my house alone. I want to be with you. The drama. <laughs> so I guess when she writes her next book, we'll find out how much of this was was uh, bullshit and how much of it was real, right? It could be a combination of both. They said she, she should have, I mean, she wants to promote the show. Remember, she's a producer of the show. So she has a vested interest in promoting the show. I don't know why they give her 40000 I guess you, you after you pay your taxes and all that shit, uh, maybe 40000 isn't so much. But we're not talking about 40000 a year, honey. We're talking about 40000 per episode. So they made nine episodes. So did all that take place in one year? Maybe it, it went over. Maybe they, they worked on it more than a year. So maybe she's making, uh, you know, $250,000, $300,000 a year. But uh, other people are making $3 million a year. Because she had more than one role in there. Not only what she was, she directed some episodes. I don't think she did the majority of the directing, though. They, they kept switching people out. So she did some directing and other thing, but she was also a co-writer and co-producer of the show. Now, a producer, their role can be varied. Some producers are extremely involved in the show, and some producers are just putting up money. I don't think she has a lot of money. She's probably hands-on. She apologized to another lady, the other trans woman who worked on the show with her, who she seemed to, that she was putting, diminishing her role so she can make herself bigger. So she admitted to that. But uh, too much coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence, honey. Right. So people are talking about. So now cause I had forgotten all about Pose is premiering tonight. Now I know. And other people know. Right. Okay. I can't wait. Yeah, you guys are gonna enjoy it. I think I watched the full for I got very I watched the full first episode because uh it reminded me so much of Paris is burning, and a lot of the story was taken from Paris is burning about this ball scene thing. I think I kind of fell off in season two. I don't remember there being season two, so I'm either I fell off or I ran them all together, and then there was a long gap. So we get in season three. So season three is only gonna be uh I believe nine episodes. Well, I think a full episode, a full season would be thirteen to eighteen episodes. So they, they've they've cut it short. Now, if they had problems, that why they cut it short. I don't I don't know. But it seems to be the community is very excited about this. I know in the Castro here where I live, there there are billboards all over the Castro promoting Pose. So you know what I mean about promotion. So if they're doing it here in this city, that means that they're doing this in all other cities as well. So they're putting a lot of money into the promotion of Pose. But nothing grabs your attention like social media, right? So it could be just another publicity stunt. It could be her taking the opportunity to say, go up there, girl. Just, yeah, throw everybody on the bus. Everything goes. This is it. We're at the end. Go have at it. Cause a buzz. Maybe they didn't know what was in the buzz. Maybe she's just throwing things in there. But uh, let's hope this woman, let's hope it is just a publicity stunt and this woman has not sabotaged or hurt her chances of doing other things in, in this industry. She may be afraid that 
this could be the end of it for her since there are not a lot of shows that, that are she was the first trans woman to have that that role right she might be thinking this is the end of it she's not gonna get another opportunity so she just uh if her and ryan had fallen out for whatever reason probably if they had remained friends through this this situation these three years then she would have seen him as an opportunity to do other things because he is very active in the industry and he's done many many things including american horror story and those series that i just told you about he's done a lot of stuff he could have he could have helped her career tremendously so maybe they've fallen out well she felt like she had nothing to lose she said "Fuck hollywood i don't need you i'm free free it's the cost of freedom honey if you're going to be working in that industry now i don't know that janet mock was even in show business before the show was she i know she had written, written a successful book I know she had had her own personal celebrity, but I didn't know that she was actually a producer, director, and writer until Pose. So we have to look, hold on and watch and see what happens. Okay, all the treatment of trans in the community. What treatment? There has been no treatment of trans in the community. This is it, honey. T.S. Madison got her show. She has been involved in this show. RuPaul has got her show. So it is a trickle, honey. But, uh, Things are changing, you know. So maybe she saw this is her opportunity to talk about it. Plus, if she really does feel slighted in her in her uh, in her pay, maybe this is her opportunity. Oh, I don't know who she would be preaching to though. Ain't nobody gonna give you a raise now. Hell, the show's over. But she said she was not paid. So she said forty thousand is not a pay. You, the time you get through it, all your taxes and all your expenses and so forth. Perhaps it wasn't a pay if you're feeling like this is going to be it. That's why they pay those athletes so much money because their careers are limited. They're not going to be making money for the rest of their life. They're, when they play for five or six years, that might be it. So that's why they demand these huge sums of money. She may figure, that, honey, I, I don't see a lot of other opportunities coming my way. If there were op other opportunities on the table, I doubt that she would go on to the premier party and make a fool of herself. Plus, okay, this is L. I'm just running my mouth. I'm sorry, people. It's only seven episodes. I thought it was nine episodes. Okay, seven. That is abbreviated then. That's real short. I think the, the, the average around 13. Okay. Uh, Baby, uh, everybody wants to be a star. Come on, baby, let me take you to your new dressing room. Sweetheart, uh, 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 nice try. Nice try, you ding, 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 the ding, ding, the ding, ding. Mm. Go get ready for your close-up. <laughs> I do like my dog here with me all the time, but I haven't feeling all that, but he... He just tries to steal all the out of the steam out of my my talks. Okay. Hi, T. Tricia. Hey, love. Let me let you guys talk a little bit now. What do you guys think? It sounds crazy. I suspect everything that happens on a premiere, if it's a premiere, the whole premiere week, there are going to be stunts. It's all geared towards drawing your attention to the show. Now, I don't know if they were scripted. I mean, it seems pretty strange to me. But at the same time, they could just say, go take this, these moments. You are a producer of the show. Remember, now, this is not some, uh, she working for them. She's a part of the show. She owns the show, or part of it. She's a producer, a co-producer with, 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 with uh, Ryan White, or Ryan, what his name is, Ryan Reynolds. Okay, according to page six, she went off and said, fuck Hollywood. I don't know about that, honey. It's a career move. Although, I mean, Hollywood. Is everybody going to take that personally? I mean, they know they know show business. Right? How much damage does she really do with just saying that? You have to capture people's attention. That's what a publicity stunt is. That is the very definition of a publicity stunt. You do something to draw people's attention. Go to go up on the stage and holler, fuck Hollywood, honey. Everybody's going to be looking. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. What's she doing? What's she doing? Maybe she's just promoting. 
Why embarrass the boyfriend? Even girl, so what you suck. We don't know the state of their relationship. We know a year ago they started dating each other. Poppy. I guess his real name is Angel. I, I who knows why she was standing up in there. That's what I mean by publicity stunt, honey. It seems too dramatic for, uh, for my taste. Right? So, yeah, people will say, well, she got caught cheating. So she wanted to make a big splash. She was afraid of losing the boyfriend. She had too much to drink. She had all this kind of stuff. And the end result, we're talking about Pose, which premieres when? Tonight. Okay. Page six could have released it on, on Thursday, honey. News organizations that they get the news, they release it. That's that's a daily thing. It's not something you hold. Mm-hmm. Let me see. It'd be fun, something fun to watch, though. I'll definitely watch, especially if it was only seven seasons, seven episodes. That's gonna go by pretty quick. I would love somebody would. I think somebody would have video somewhere. Is that going to be, are they going to release that at, at an opportune time? You would think they have this big party. It's a premier party. I mean, it's all about show business. I mean, uh, social media rules the world these days. You would think that somebody would have slipped the camera out. Hmm. The only reason they would collect the phones if, it, if they were planning on some drama to happen. It's not like it's got to be a secret. What's the, what's the big secret? It's a premiere party. Uh, Ryan, Ryan could have said, girl, go out there. We need you to do this. We need you to do, get a buzz. Creating a buzz. Why embarrass the boyfriend? Oh, this is from L. Love. Even if it's fake, the boyfriend was still put in a bad situation. No, he's part of the show. L Love, that he is part of the show, honey. He's a brand new actor. He wouldn't be opposed to going and he could act, he could act embarrassed too. <laughs> My theory is it's all about the show, honey. So he would know that. She would because that's I mean, why would we bring something so personal up to the stage? And how you gonna make stand up, stand up, <laughs> girl. Sit down. Hold that breast. Hold it. <laughs> if he's involved in a relationship like that, if that woman is that terrible and domineering, honey, I don't think that it's a bad thing at all that he would uh, find his love elsewhere. All right. It's just it's just me. A drunk will speak the truth. Yeah, it could be she was drunk, too much to drink. I know she was scheduled to be on which one, one of those shows today? Good Morning America, or was that Monday? And they canceled the show. They canceled, canceled her appearance. But should, did I write that down? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. They canceled the, the uh, her appearance on it. That might have been her, her show actually canceled it. Opposed people. They want to leave it out there, you know. I love Paris is burning. The Queen's always having fun <laughs> dancing. Uh huh. Hit. Death drops. Uh huh. You can still see that on uh, on Netflix now. Paris is burning. The similarities are startling. Okay. Male counterparts. Okay, and we have no idea what she had to deal with behind the scenes. Black, but this is her moment. Her once in a lifetime. Why would you sabotage that, honey? This is your show. It ain't like it's their show. This is her show. You're the co-producer. You're the co-owner. Now, why would you be paying the co-owner $40,000? I don't know. So maybe she's just a, a, a producer in name only. And work only, right? Maybe Ryan is the executive producer. And the other... So a lot of times you watch movies, there'll be like nine producers on there. All those people are not involved in the show. So a producer is kind of a loose term. Some people just put up the money. Oprah is known for doing a lot of that kind of stuff. But yeah, we can all imagine that they, that I mean, they try to rip people off as much as they can because they, they're giving them an opportunity. They know what else is going to give them. So I'm sure they, they did take uh, 
take a lot of shit off of him just to be on, just to be put on. And their careers will grow from this. I mean, even if they don't get a lot of television stuff, all of them careers are going to be. Uh, uh, this will probably be defining their whole their whole life. So they'll still they'll do the parades and they'll still do appearances and all that kind of stuff. You know, complain about how they treated compared to what? Yeah, even white actresses have complained about disparity disparity in income. Disparity. That don't sound right at all. Something like that. The difference between male and female people, and we certainly all know that black people have complained about that since since the beginning of show business. And it's gotten better, but it is not still not there. So it ain't it's not news, right? It may, may be uh, she's a, is she an activist? I think she's done some some stuff as an activist for transgender people. She might have just been making a statement, a, a planned statement as well about the industry, dealing with trans people. But you better, you better got a foot in the door. I don't think it's the time for all that. You, not yet. Let's see. Why would uh, it be her once in a lifetime, though? Because if she sabotages herself, be, well, I'm just saying this is her moment. This is her show. This is the climax of her show after three seasons. Why go and throw the whole damn thing in the fire at the premiere of her last season. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. Right? Now, I know people get drunk, they get up there, you will go up there and do your three minutes, whatever. But she went on for 15 minutes. That's what I mean about this. This, this was her moment. It's everybody's moment. I mean, Ryan Murphy, he got so much shit going on. That he's so successful that maybe this is just, just a, a minor project for him. But for some of these people, this is huge. So it doesn't surprise me that the kid Angel, I say kid, he's 25 years old, would participate in that. Whether he knew it or didn't know it, it's still promotion. Right? A police stunt, they people have done all kinds of shit, honey, including faking their own damn uh uh kidnappings. Okay. Oh, I don't know that it's necessarily uh, Sandy W. That it is her once in a lifetime, though. I don't think that necessarily a career is over. I believe I lean towards it being a publicity, for publicity, right? And when I say publicity, I mean it, it wasn't a surprise to anyone that it was a planned to garner a certain amount of buzz. And everything that happens, if it. Everything that happens today, honey, if one of the cast members got shot by one of the other cast members on the day of the premiere, I wouldn't believe it. Simple as that. Whatever happens on the day of the premiere or the week of the premiere of a new show or a show, period, movie, whatever, it's, it, it would be considered publicity. What are we doing right now? We're talking about polls. When does polls premiere? Tonight, keep it. I mean, maybe I, I'm I'm jaded. I've been around. <laughs> been such a long time since I saw. Him. Let me see. She should have just sucked it up and went on to do another project where she was. It was. It is hers alone. Right. So cooking with Nathan. Well, you you believe then that it was just a career. Uh, she dropped a career bomb. We'll see. We'll see. She could have sucked it up and just went on to something else. Of course, if she has any relationship with Ryan Murphy, she would definitely be working. I mean, he produces a lot of stuff that we don't even know about. A lot of successful series, all that American horror stuff. He could use her. The writer is behind the scenes, so every scene doesn't have to. Everything doesn't have to be about transgender people. She just be a writer. She is a writer. She has wrote a successful book. Uh, so I don't know that she did sabotage her career. I don't know when you say fuck Hollywood. Well, who who exactly are the producers going to say? Oh, oh, she said fuck Hollywood, girl. Who who is Hollywood? Hollywood's thousands of people, right? But that statement is certainly going to get your attention, just like when Billy Porter walked over, walked the red carpet in a damn dress, tuxedo dress, 
had everybody talking about it for a week. Janet Mock is an American writer, television host, director, producer, and transgender transgender rights activist. Right. Uh huh. I look at Panda. She hasn't had a history of using stunts. Well, that's true. I mean, we don't know. This is new. This is her show. I mean, it's the first time, right? I want that pillow on your couch. Oh, you notice you you very observant, uh, Steve Austin. Yeah, I got that pillow. Right now it's flat, like a pancake. Uh, because I just got an old pillow in there. I ordered the, the insert at the same time. But I got it from Amazon yesterday. You like me, you notice things in the background. <laughs> Amazon, Steve Austin. It's easy for us to say how she should have handled it, but we have no idea what she's been dealing with behind the scenes or for how long. No one is perfect. Well, right. I understand that, Al. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I know anything. I don't know shit. All I know is that every instance, every time there's a premiere for something, like somebody wants to drop a record, you can expect some kind of drama every time someone is about to release a, a, an album. In the, in the music industry, right? Every time some rapper has something, there's always some scandal that happens right before the release of the the record, right? It's all publicity. They have they hire agencies who their job is to bring buzz to the project. That is part of promotion, right? So if it means throwing yourself under a bus publicly, I can see that that is not beyond the realm of possibility. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is we have a brand new story about this premiere party, and it is the night of the premiere. It has been held. I need the decor. <laughs> Thank you. It's part of the LGBT, okay. L is part of LGBTQ community, but he's a white, uh, Ryan Murphy, you talking about. He's a white man and he's had a lot of success. He knows he'll continue working regardless. Janet Mock is a black trans woman. It's not the same for her. Well, of course not. Oh, it's groundbreaking. She's done something no one else has done, you know. But I don't know that I would sabotage my career. Uh, just because I feel like I didn't get paid enough money on my first series, right? It couldn't be news. I mean, this has gone, this is the third year, right? So she's known that she's been underpaid this entire time, right? So we can't get into Janet Mock's, her motives or into her brain, but this is not new, honey. There have been several paychecks, all of them, I guess, $40,000. I would assume that a producer, a, a producer or co-producer would have a stake in the show. It surprises me that she would even be getting just a paycheck. She seems like she would be getting a dividend on the damn show. Right? Listen, that industry is not fair, honey. We all know that. We all know that industry is not fair. They pay women less. They pay black people less. And this girl is a woman. She's a trans and she's black. They're going to get away with whatever they can get away with, figuring that, oh, she'll do anything because no one's ever done this before. We're giving her opportunity. Although I don't know why these rich people who have all this damn money need to be trying to cheat this, this one person out of an income, you know. So I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just a suspicious type person. A suspicious type person. Every time something happens in, uh, in show business, first thing I want to know, when is the album coming out? When is the record coming? Oh, next week. Oh, she dropped that Thursday. Oh, uh, we're talking about Pose. Okay, when, when is Pose premiere? Oh, no, that's on tonight. Now, I had no idea. I would have missed this thing coming on tonight if it weren't for this story. I was just, just keeping it honest, keeping it real. I would have, I would not have been aware. So there'll be other things that will bring our attention to the fact that this premiere is t this evening. Right? Nothing wrong with it. It's just show business. That's entertainment. I just Marco Covington.
How you doing? Mm -hmm. I wanted to say something to you. I think you, you, you maybe you give me a super chat or something before, after I, I closed the chat yesterday. I don't know. But how you doing? I think Janet made a mistake dating someone on the show. You know, these relationships. <laughs> so she cheated with somebody on, why would somebody come on tell tell that lie? I, I, I cheated with somebody on the cast. I mean, in the not in the cast. So the only thing she's over there having sex with the other drag queen. It wasn't that. She said someone in on the, uh, what's the other thing? Not the cast, but the staff kind of thing, right? What's the word for that? One of them on the crew. Somebody on the crew. So Angel supposed to just accept that, walk around the person who she's been screwed with. Too much drama for me, honey. I don't believe you. I don't believe her for going off. I don't blame her for going off. They want black trans women to give our culture away for pennies. S child. Mm -hmm. Janet has to remember where she's she's at getting drunk like that. Oh, no, no. Okay, yeah. Some people believe she might have been drunk. If you're drunk, you'll do that. It's not unusual at all, honey. They told you to go up there and give you three minutes and you gave him 15. I got some things I want to say. And this may be my last opportunity to say it. And I want to say to you, you. <laughs> it's supposed to be a, like a, a, a cast party, right? It wasn't for the public, I don't believe. Although there was some public there. Mock added, Angel, Angel, I'm not losing you. Hear me. You hear me, Angel. You are fucking important to me. I don't want to live alone. I want you. You. Girl, tell me about drama. That was a speech. Now, that part was, must have been written. <laughs> that part seemed to be, I don't seem to be off the cuff, honey. <laughs> but with all the F-bombs dropped, it could have just been her, her drunk. But it, it it wasn't a good look for me because uh, here we got a trans woman up there, and now she's acting all unhinged. People have held Janet Mock to be a total professional, right? A complete transition. I mean, if you didn't tell me that she was a trans woman, I would never have guessed that she was a trans woman. I mean, she is a woman, right? Maybe she was just born with the right body frame or whatever. But she's what you what you would consider a total. So a lot of people look up to her in a different way that they look up to T.S. Uh, RuPaul. They all have their own their, their own place, right? I would say that her place would be a very professional since she was also a producer and director and a writer. So they held her up. This kind of breakdown is making sense to me. Janet signed a damn contract. Don't pull no 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 uh, Monique on this, Janet. Oh, no, honey. Don't become one of those Hollywood tragedies. Mm -hmm. Janet signed a damn contract. She is ex she is experienced with contracts, book contracts, editor jobs. If she can't negotiate, then that is her fault. A real life, there is always entry-level pay jobs. I see what you're saying. Uh, are you Exarvin, Exarvin Paris? Pierre? Exarvin Pierre, I hope I pronounced it close to right. Right. Like I'm saying, it is her first paycheck. She's been getting 40000 for the last three years. She knew what she was getting. Right? So why save it to the end when the show's over? She ain't the first one, honey. I done heard white women get over sitting and give us a very similar speech. <laughs> Black, trans, and a woman. Now, you know she was going to have problems with income, I mean, pay disparity. Disparity. I'm still working on that word. Disparity. Right. All three of those groups have had issues. She's got all three of them. Right? But if you pull off a successful show, then you can demand better. That's what they, Tyler Perry and them were trying to explain to this damn Monique. 
You know, after you've had a success, honey, we got to promote, promote, promote. Remember all of Monique's issues was coming from her lack of her willingness to promote the project, right? Because after this, you will be able to demand more. And on your next project, you will demand more money because you are now an asset. They feel like they're helping you when they give you the, the first project. American greed. Yes, you would think people would treat people fairly, honey. I mean, they're probably making, you know, millions. Those commercial they're not like YouTube, honey. When we get, you know, four dollars per episode <laughs> for our commercials. <laughs> they sell their commercials for millions, honey. Mm-hmm. It's human nature to look at situation and think how. We could, would have handled it, but if you've never been there and you don't and you don't know the whole story, it's pointless to compare ourselves to others. Well, we don't. Know. I mean, I know we don't. We know we don't know anything. All we know is the is the data premiere, and then she. Uh, this story has been released strategically on the very day of the premiere, and we're all talking about pose now, and then it promotes the premiere is tonight. That's the whole point. So it's a, as successful in that way. Janet Ma getting up on that stage, honey, and talking about, oh, hi, everybody. I love you guys. It was such a pleasure and honor to talk. That wouldn't make the news. That is not a newsworthy story. They were just having a, the, 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 their rap party or premiere party, whatever the hell they call it. No, if you're going to make news, you got to throw something out there in the street, honey. Fuck Hollywood. She is a writer. Uh, L Love says, that's why I always conduct myself the same way at a Christmas party at work or at work or at work, Christmas party at work or at work. I never drank too much liquor. I never drank too much or said too much. Okay. Be professional at all times. Mm -hmm. You might be sitting back laughing, laughing in their screen, honey. Poppy standing up. Oh, he's so embarrassed. So he, girl, he's just a piece. It's her boyfriend. So, so he got embarrassed for, for a couple of minutes. Look at the great publicity they got out of the thing. He is part of the show as well. Right? Y'all can expect other drama. I mean, well, I, I don't know if, if they only try to promote in the beginning or all through this season. You know, there'll be things to catch your eye. There'll be strange outfits. There'll be all kinds of stuff. She signed a multi-million dollar deal with Netflix in 219. She's not hurting for money. She knows her worth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brad, M. Brad. Oh, she got a deal? Okay. So she has a deal with Netflix. Why would she ever her holler and fuck Hollywood? It's not like the old days, people, where they go now penalize because she said fuck Hollywood. Whole lot of people say fuck Hollywood. I like to be at some of them Hollywood parties, honey. A whole, I bet you a whole, whole lot of people. I said a whole lot worse than that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people keep keep saying she needs. To just accept whatever they're giving her and be happy. But everyone can't do that. Not when it's one third of what you deserve and what others are receiving. It's more about what others are receiving. Because but frankly, none of them deserve these multi-millions of dollars they're getting. Right? I mean, it, it's a lot of money in, in, in the show business. But uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why people on your job, they'll tell you, don't tell other employees how much money you make. That's like a no-no. You don't tell other people because they're going with the same thing. Why is she getting damn near twice as much as what I'm getting? That's been forever. Don't tell people how much money you make on your job, right? But she told her whole world she made 40000 Now, that part might have been uh, ad-lib. 
She wants it all. Janet forgot the first rule. Don't get this, the same privileges we do. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that's shocking to some people that they're not getting the same thing as the other, other people are. It's not new news, people. People have been fighting. Well, she's an activist, so this may be her way of, of being an activist for trans people, for women, people of color, you know. I wish she wouldn't have had that outburst. I really do, but I can't sit here and judge her for having a breakdown. Mm -hmm. She might have been her and her and Angel might have had a fight, honey, because she said she was going. She was getting ready to fire him. <laughs> she had, like, he was an employee. Listen here, I'm not into that domineering thing, honey. I, I don't want to be with nobody going to tell me stand up, your ass up. You see him? I love him. <laughs> love to be a fly on the wall in there. Are they in the dressing room laughing? <laughs> you, you handled it, Angel. You handled it perfectly. Okay. He's there. Yes, that's what I am thinking. Blackballed. That's what happens with Monique. All her views and ideas. Monique could have been, she could have had a great career going right now, but she wants to stand on her values. And she want to stand up for the, uh, what'd she say? For the Hanny McDowell and all the old people that, that are now dead. She said, well, speak up for them. I'll, give me the money. I'm getting it for them. <laughs> Monique was a Hollywood tragedy. Let's hope. I, I don't get this impression, though. I think this is all about the show. It's only my opinion. Yep, you can't help but make the comparison with Monique, though. So we don't know even what a producer does. I mean, was she producing every episode or some episodes? She directed, uh, uh, I don't know how many episodes. That's how she made history. But uh, is she making $40,000 episode? Is she involved in every episode of the series? Because if she wasn't if she wasn't getting paid forty thousand per every single episode, then she wasn't making no money. If she's only making forty thousand on episodes that she actually directed and things like that, then I would see. Yeah, she can complain because that ain't no money at all. You would have to be getting forty thousand per every single episode, right? So we know she only directed a few episodes. Was it one or, or, or just a few episodes? But she was a writer. But writers don't get all that much money. You know, you you got to think about the actors, what, what they're getting and so forth. But I'm sure those actors were underpaid as well. They had to be. Billy Porter is a, is a well-known stage actor. So maybe he could demand more money. But like I said, the rule is don't tell people how much money you make. Because it's highly unlikely that they were all making the same thing. But if they were cheating her out of money, you can imagine what they were doing to Angel. Or some of these people who didn't even have acting careers before this, you know. It'll all come. She's a writer. She writes books. So we'll, we'll, we'll get the low down. That'll be a bestseller. I wonder how long she'll wait before she does it. Well, one person agrees with me. M. Brad, thank you. The young guy ain't totally off. He ain't totally stupid. He may look stupid, act stupid, <laughs> talk stupid. <laughs> That's nearly a half a million dollars, right? If she's getting paid per per episode. Was she involved in every episode? It, it would have to be every episode, honey. Because they're only cutting her checks for, for when she was behind the, uh, behind the camera. Mm -mm. She ain't making shit. Remember all those people they had uh, producing and directing and so forth? Let's hope she got paid for every episode. Right? I'm sure those details are available somewhere here on YouTube or on the internet. How many episodes she was actually got credit for? The credits. Credits are very important. That's why you get paid by. When I was dating my uh, designer guy, we used to have to watch these movies, that sci-fi movies and all this stuff. All We sit through the whole movie just so we could see... His name strolled by, and it strolled by so fast. 
but he wanted to sit there to see his name. That's a big deal for people in, in Hollywood. Honey. We can leave as soon as I saw my name. <laughs> One time there was a big blow up between the two partners. Okay, I was involved with these guys, right? I met one, the black guy, he was a big custom designer at the time, B Bill Whitten. I met him in Hollywood. I went home. I didn't know that he had, he had a partner, this white guy, right? They were both partners, and they were partners in their business, right? I hope that boy don't get run across this video. <laughs> I think Bill might have passed by now. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, 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 anyway. We went to see this premiere, and when the credits came by, the credits should have said he's he wanted the credits to say the, the costumes were by Bill Whitten and Work Room Twenty Seven, but instead, the credits said a uh, Stephen Loomis and Work Room Twenty Seven. Don't sue me, people. Don't sue me if I got the facts wrong. But they had this huge, huge, huge fight. And I was in the house. And it was all because of what those credits said. It was because the, the, the partner was stepping forward to take credit. It was all about the credit. Who got the credit for it? No, it said the costumes by Stephen Loomis. It didn't say Stephen Loomis and Workroom 27. Workroom 27 was their company. so they, And that's how the pay was going to be distributed. So maybe he felt like he was trying to break away and do his own thing. They were both very good designers. They were partners. But Bill was the star of, of the, uh, he was the star. He got most of the credit for what happened there. His partner, though, worked just as hard as he did. And at some point, they did split. And they both became successful in their own right. So it was happening. He wasn't wrong for thinking that was what was going on. I think Steven may still be a, a, a big custom designer. I don't know. I'm 60 now. I was 19 when I met them. So, yeah, that would make them, what, <laughs> ancient. <laughs> I think Bill's not even around anymore. Pose could have been the stepping stone to more pay and more visibility. Just like when we uh, take jobs for less pay, as a springboard for better opportunities. Y'all are y'all are just enamored with celebrities. Right. Well, that's how you gotta start out. Most of these actors, they weren't even actors before this. This is a big opportunity for them. So maybe they don't make a lot of money on their first project. Although it seems so selfish though to not pay people for what they're worth. I mean, why not pay them? What's a few dollars to these people? I mean, Ryan Murphy, what's he got? Six, six series to his credit? You know, so they're not taking. Think about the music industry. All them people, not all these, uh, <laughs> these rappers and shit, with all these, you know, stacks of hundred dollar bills, and they got Ferraris and Rolls Royces, two Bentleys, and all this shit. And then you find out they don't own none of it. It's all the studio just giving that shit. The first, as soon as you start making records, as soon as you ain't got no hit on the charts, you, they take all that shit back. You don't own nothing. You think they're not getting ripped off? Because they want to be on, I mean that's that's been uh, that has been the history of music industry, and now that people stream everything, how the hell are they get any money? They can't this year especially they can't they can't perform. They ain't making shit on their on their CDs or their their uh, do they even make CDs anymore? Their their rec recording projects most of that money is going to the, the record companies when they make a bit video they like Lil Nas they are gonna make him pay for that whole damn thing. And that's all going to come out of what he would have got paid, right? So he, if he can't perform and he can't and, and uh, he can't make any money on his records, how do he make a living? People are screaming everything for free. Anybody going to, to just buying CDs no more? Why? It's all electronic now. Anyway. Listen, uh, you are allowed to, to feel what you want. I refuse to act like these people aren't human beings and have emotional moments like everyone else. So we can just respectfully disagree to disagree. Oh, girl, we're just having a conversation now. That's what that's part of celebrity, honey. They want you talking about their show. Did you guys get it? It is important. 
I, even social media, we play a role as well. They want you to talk about their show. That's why they released the damn interview the same day as the premiere. That's what a buzz is. They, they don't care. That you, oh, you already talked about the show. You should say nothing about the show. No, girl. You, we want you to talk about the show. If they can get on YouTube or they can get on their social media and see that, oh, my God, there's 30 people talking about That's a successful campaign. That's what they want. Buzz, they call it. Hell, these people on YouTube need to stand up. You said, what? I made $6 on that video. I talked for a whole fucking hour. <laughs> right? I saw the commercials. <laughs> Hell, everybody wants to get paid, honey. Shit. Mm. And we don't know how successful uh, Pose is. We know how successful Pose is among us. Right? We certainly know how important it is for trans people and, and people of color, but we know how prejudiced black people are. Hell, they don't have the whole black audience. They don't have the white audience, right? We don't know. I mean, unless they're LGBTQ, but LGBTQ people, it's not that big an audience, honey. You would have to get that whole audience share, whole market share. And I hate to tell you people, but... LGBT community, we have prejudice in, in our ranks just like other people do, honey. So don't assume that they have all the LGBTQ people are watching and supporting Pose, right? They still like white shows. Pose is primarily uh, minorities. You know, I do see that they're promoting though all over the Castro. But don't assume, honey. Because even if you got the whole trans community watching you, how many people is that? as compared to these other communities. Now, I'm not saying that it's, it's right to be paying people less money, but you gotta realize, honey, those people have much bigger audiences. I mean, look at, on YouTube, look at what, what some of these kids are making, these white kids are making. Millions and millions and millions of dollars, honey. How, they, they can come on here and fart and get 25 million views. We're all struggling to get a thousand. So do we must make the same amount of money as somebody making uh, 25 million views? I mean, it's just part of it. Something you have to consider, honey. We don't know how successful that people that 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 show is among everyone else, among the larger audiences, right? But RuPaul did it. RuPaul did it against all odds. She saw an audience. She went for it, and she created her own audience. So, I hope TS is doing well. I hope, to, she, I hope she's doing well, and she's a business person, so I'm sure she's going to get all the money she can get out of them. But it may not be, you know, what she wants, you know. There, there could be some controversy there. But then, then, but then she's gotten the, the credit, the credit, for she's had a show. Uh, I understand that, Uncle Tim. I just share my opinion. That's okay. If it's coming off like I'm trying to uh, argue, <laughs> no, honey, we know everybody got an opinion. We're talking about it. That's what they want, right? Create some buzz. Y'all go ahead and buzz around my books on Amazon. Love and gospel. <laughs> Put Timothy Blade in there. <laughs> Hell, I love to have some buzz, honey. Shit. She's going to get a great book out of this too, Janet Monk. You probably already have done with it. Mm -hmm. Janet said one thing that's true. The writing was horrible. Oh my God, somebody actually said it? Okay, Xavier, you actually said it out of your mouth? <laughs> the writing was horrible. <laughs> I heard no one vocalize it. Sometimes we don't vocalize everything because we want to support the show. We love the idea, right? But there are some people who are going to dig into the actuality. But look how bad the writing was with Tyler Perry, though. He is the richest black man in Hollywood. He don't live in Hollywood, but richest black man in show business, right? There are so many more talented actors than Tyler Perry. 
so many more talented writers than Tyler Perry, so many more talented directors than Tyler Perry, but somehow or other, somehow or other, Tyler Perry found his audience and he became very, very successful at it. So yeah, the writing doesn't always have to be the best. There were disappointing moments. Like I said, I was really into it the first season. I fell off the second season. But like that season, that scene, <clears throat> was it the first episode? Where they ran into a building and stole fur coats and all this kind of stuff. And then I was, people told me, what, what baby, that's for based on the real, that really actually happened. They really did go into the store and, and uh, steal these coats. It was in, it was in, uh, it was in Paris is Burning, the same story. So, you know, we don't know. But everything, I mean, it has a little element of slapstick to it. Like some of the things, you know, the, the s &M scenes and all that kind of stuff. But it's television. That's entertainment. It's not the same as reality, right? If they were making a serious drama, it would be different than a very different standard than uh, just creating a, a, a television series. So yeah, I'd agree with some of the writings, but uh, not being critical. I like the idea. I like to uh, support the, ser the series. You know, I don't know that I even watch. It. I don't watch the, those type of shows, but it is a unique experience. So yeah, I'll definitely be watching the episodes. Yeah, I don't know if I will review them. I don't know. We got to see, but uh, I'll be watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ballroom. I, I was not a part of the ballroom scene. I don't know if they even had ballroom in Hollywood. Uh, when I came to Hollywood in the 70s, they were, Jermaine Stewart and them, they were doing uh, Mavericks Flat in Jules' room and Catch One. They were hanging out in clubs still, a place called Geno's. They were hanging out in clubs. So if they had uh, balls, drag balls and all that, it always took place in like a disco kind of environment. So I think that was more of an East Coast type thing. Right, other cities depend on where you live. Get your buzz, get your buzz. All right, that's right. Timothy books on Amazon, go over there and buzz them out, honey. <laughs> Some of the stories were true, uh, but the writing was awful. Yeah, some of it, you know. I always thought that the, the character extra what was her name. The, the the dark skinned kind of African lady, what was her name? Was it she? Was she extravaganza? One of the main characters, the one who played the mother. I always thought her character was kind of over the top, right? I said, do people actually actually like that? Bring me my bag, bring me my purse. I made you. She always seemed very over dramatic to me, but that's what a drag queen is, honey. People they don't walk around like like women. They walk around like drag queens. Being dramatic, that's what it's all about. <laughs> so people find that more entertaining. They exaggerate things for television, you know. And I think young people eat this stuff up. I mean, they love it. <laughs> Are you in the review business? Uh, X, 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 why well, I can't pronounce your name. Is it X, X Arvin? No, I know it's not the right pronunciation. Pierre. If you can, could you put your, uh, how you pronounce your name, break it down like X Arvin or whatever? Pierre. Let's call you Pierre. Ballroom is a bunch of gay street gangs. Okay. Yeah, we're still learning some stuff. But the elements about uh, uh, HIV and AIDS, I was there for all that. I'm part of it, honey. I got tested positive right in the beginning of it. So some of those stories are kind of sad to me because they were they, 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 they were true. The dying, the people getting sick, even the star, stars of the show getting sick. That was true, honey. So th that part is a serious element to that thing. So not only are they talking about the ballroom scene, they're also doing a lot about the AIDS epidemic. Mm 
I I don't know. A lot of I think a lot of the uh, the writing in a lot of gay shows are kind of kind of minstrel a little bit, you know. <clears throat> a lot of gay movies and things they're geared towards young people. Mm -hmm. I don't dislike you. You just you just give them the critique. That's good. I mean, it's cool. All right, you guys. So, Pose premieres tonight. I don't know what time it does. On uh, is the FX. We'll see. Maybe we'll talk about it, at least the first episode. All right. Thanks for coming in, guys. Have a good Sunday. Later. Mm -hmm.